So it is now April 2022 and this book cupboard has been running for two years. In about a week it's going to be our two-year anniversary and we've hit, we're nearly coming up for 4,000 books that have been rehomed. So today we have hit our fantastic 4,000 books rehomed in two years. Mum is just going to change that number over now. And next, you're going to get to meet some of our regulars at the book cupboard. Well, I brought these back. Oh, good, lovely. Thank you. <laughs> They're from here in the first place. Oh, well, that's good. That's what we like to have. You don't yeah. need to stamp them again. No. Say, but some oh, you enjoy more than others, but it's just nice to have it here. Yeah. Because it's free. You can take them, bring them back if you don't like them or if you do, can't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. That's so the idea, yeah. Great idea. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'd I'll... like to take some more. Yeah, yeah, to say, help yourself. <laughs> There's a bubble in here. There is, yes. Well, we used to have a lot of marbles that I gave away. This one's obviously returned to singular marble. Well, uh, well, I think also people have become, I've become more of one now that if I read a book, I'll pass it on. But books that I've kept, mostly books that I read years ago and I really loved, and I think, oh, I'll read them again, but I never will. You, you see things which you probably wouldn't have spotted in a, in a bookshop, unless you were there at the time. So I think there are, there are more books more books being published so you sort of get slightly kind of you know there's way too many than you could ever catch up on whereas yeah. if you were a prolific reader in maybe the 17th century you probably could read everything that was oh, published that's true. <laughs> yeah. her grandchildren get really excited and sometimes they have it as a special outing she doesn't <laughs> live here so she comes oh, over from oh, really? wow. to visit her grandchildren and then they probably say oh Nanny, Nanny, can we go to the, you know, to the That's library? The li that is nice. Just, and they yeah. hope that there's going to be a little thing. Well, well I missed the mice. Clear. I wanted the mice with the glasses. We still have, we know who they are now, um, a local knitter who drops in little uh, toys and animals and stuff into the cupboard. Um, I think we've had <clears throat> mice and worms and sheep um, and many other animals, or oh, cacti. Um, so, um, yeah, here's a few pictures of those, you know. They were featured in the other little documentary I did, um, actually, which also told a little story about the time somebody came and snatched and ran off with about 70 books. Um, obviously, yeah, that, that, that was a bit strange. It was in the first lockdown, so if you want to hear about that, you can watch the previous documentary. Oh, do you want to read it? Well, there you go. It? Reading it highly recommended. It was. I. I really oh, liked it. Too. Yeah, I know. It's lovely, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it do you need to put it through a system? No, no. I just count them. So what we do is we take a picture, and then we count the difference. Okay. Um, and obviously, we both know book covers so well. It's easy to spot usually what's and we gone. We usually spot a book that's come back or a new one coming. Really? Um, there were some Jeffrey Archers came in a couple of days ago and went out, and then oh, came back. Okay. They came Two back. Later. And I put them at the back now. Yeah, yeah. I put them at the back. And June Whitfield keeps going in and out. Yeah. <laughs> so we had a custom stamp made. Um, I got it from Etsy. And what we do now is this is some new donations we've just had. Um, and we stamp all our books. I'll just show you guys here. So we've got here our charter number, uh, our location, Little Free Library. Um, this number just happened to be the number that was on the day that I drew this design, which, and then obviously the Quarantine Bookshop, which is kind of our name, and then established April 2020, which was two years ago. If you don't already know, this uh, scheme that we belong to is the littlefreelibrary.org, and that's our charter number there. Uh, and that's a big organisation that's all over the world, a huge number of libraries in America. And you can actually go on their website and search our charter number and other um, charters as well. And there's some fantastic different designs like um, we belong to a stewarding Facebook page and I've noticed that uh, some of the designs, wow, there was a, a superhero library, um, there was a Hogwarts style library, uh, there was one shaped like um, one of the Sesame Street's garbage characters 
uh, that's quite elusive apparently it's somewhere in New York and and it's not listed on the charter website some of them are not listed because people get a bit of vandalism and stuff like that so they don't always list their library we are on the world map but there aren't that many in the UK I don't think it's a resource that people really use um, but it's a good idea to check out the website you know if you want to, we're in Greater London here but if you want to find other libraries in London there are they are there in fact we would like to introduce you to another bookshare scheme in London hello I am from Siena at Southlands Art Centre right now I'm standing next to the bookshare all of these books are completely free and you can keep them forever there are a lot of different books. There are funny books. Children's books. Somewhere in the middle, I guess. Adult books. A lot of adult books, actually. But yeah, you can also donate your own books here. The bookshare is just a Great addition to her Southlands. Ah. Andrea Camilleri and Inspector Monta Barnum Mystery. What an impressive range of books we've got in the quarantine bookshop. But there's another. Uh, the Paper Moon. Tommy Cooper, Audrey Hepburn. Nice science tone there. Ah. I've had a good range of books from, from here, history, fiction, poetry, what a, what, what a great, what a great sort of institution we've got here. Oh. Thank you for watching the updated story of the Quarantine Bookshop. If you enjoyed this video, the original documentary is also on this channel. Please like and subscribe if you can makes a huge difference and enables us to keep on making projects like this.